In Washington these days, it's, it seems like we can't really get anything done. There's just bitter partisan wrangling, and it's uh, even worse in an election year. And th that's what makes this uh, new legislation so refreshing and so important. Uh, this was legislation that was originally introduced last year by Senator Mark Warner and Senator Jerry Moran, a Democrat and a Republican, and now Senator Marco Rubio from Florida, uh, Chris Coons uh, from, Dem uh, from Delaware, uh, Senator Blunt uh, from Missouri and Senator Brown from uh, Massachusetts. So it's a bipartisan legislation that really focuses on trying to encourage more innovation and more entrepreneurship in America, which are really going to be critical if we're going to get out of the jobs malaise and the economic malaise we are. Uh, so I encourage you to look at the overall bill, but just a couple of important components of it. One is it it makes it a lot easier for high skill uh, STEM graduates to stay here. These are graduates who've come to the country from another, uh, come to our country from another country and getting advanced graduate degrees in physics or uh, biochemistry or other kinds of STEM fields, letting them stay here so that they can add fuel to the innovation economy. So another provision to let folks like that stay here if they're going to create new jobs and new companies uh, here. Uh, there's also some really interesting provision that would let small companies uh, be able to take a research and development tax credit as a refundable credit against their payroll tax. Uh, great idea. The R&D tax credit is really important. It's an important uh, measure to get companies to be able to do more R&D. But early stage companies uh, that don't have profits yet uh, can't really use the credit, uh, at least certainly immediately, and the legislation would let them do that. So there's a number of other provisions in the bill that are, that are also important, that are also going to drive entrepreneurship and innovation. So a lot of things we need to do as a country, but this is one important step. And uh, I think we can hopefully, uh, perhaps it might even get passed this year, we can hope and uh, keep our fingers crossed that that might happen.